strikes of Ukrainian army on Russian territory could disrupt the occupation army's offensive. ISW, the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to disrupt large-scale offensive operations by the occupiers if Ukraine's Western allies allow them to strike targets on Russian territory. This is stated in the report of the Institute for the Study of War. As an example, analysts cite the strikes of the Ukrainian armed forces at the end of June. Then, according to satellite images, Ukrainian troops successfully attacked the command post of a Russian regiment in the Belgorod region, probably using foreign weapons. The location of the facility near the front line and less than a kilometer from the border suggests that it played a role in Russian operations in the Kharkiv region. At the same time, recent satellite images show significant damage to the building. According to the Institute's analysts, the Ukrainian armed forces attacked the facility with a French precision bomb, the armament Airsol modulaire hammer. This confirms the fact that Ukraine can disrupt Russian offensive operations if Western countries continue to lift restrictions on the use of their weapons by the Ukrainian armed forces to strike military targets in Russia. Ukraine must be able to use weapons provided by the West, in particular ATACMS missiles, to strike Russian military targets in the operational rear and deep rear of the Russian Federation in order to significantly undermine enemy operations on a large scale, the experts conclude. As reported, more than 10 partner countries of Ukraine have granted permission to use their weapons on Russian territory. Among them are Canada, Germany, Finland, France and the United States. Defense News notes that the US's authorization to strike Russia has changed the war, but it is not enough. At the same time, the Americans themselves added that they would allow Ukraine to hit Russian positions at a greater distance if the occupation army tries to expand the front. A Russian missile barrage struck Children's Hospital in Ukrainian capital Kiev on Monday. Authorities are saying that they are assessing the damage. The Children's Hospital that was hit was the Akhmadet Hospital, Ukraine's largest children's medical center, according to Ukrainian media. Local authorities, citing preliminary information, said a Russian missile attack on Kiev has killed five people and injured nine others. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia fired over 40 missiles at Ukrainian cities on Monday, hitting a children's hospital in Kiev and damaging residential buildings and infrastructure across the country. All services are engaged to rescue as many people as possible. And the entire world must use all its determination to finally put an end to the Russian strikes. Killing is what Putin brings. Only together can we bring real peace and security, Zelensky wrote in a post on X social media platform on Monday. The attack on Kiev was the biggest bombardment of the capital city in several months. The head of Ukraine's presidential office, Andriy Yermol, said the attack occurred at a time when many people were in the city streets. The attacks included Kinzhal hypersonic missiles that are among most advanced Russian weapons, the Ukrainian Air Force said. The Kinzhal flies at 10 times the speed of sound, making it hard to intercept. City buildings shook from the blasts. Another attack in the central Ukrainian city of Krivi Rih killed at least 10 people.